I was at home here. Shane and Sawyer and Greer were at the farm taking riding lessons, something that we did several times a week. My phone went off and I looked at it and it was 911 across the screen. Greer wanted to ride really bad that day. So we went out to the pasture. We were calling for the horse that she wanted. There was another horse that began to charge us. I remember him circling around us and his back feet, he kicked outwards, he bucked. If you figure the force of a horse's back feet and what it can do, it had crushed her face. I could tell I did not need to be driving. I ran to my neighbor's house and we were headed up Highway 41 and we saw the Life Force helicopter fly over uh, right about where the road split to go to the farm where, where Shannon and the kids were. My neighbor Margaret parked the car. I think I got out while it was, you know, before she even came to a stop. My mom came up to me totally crying, you know. And then I started crying. And then I saw my dad. And we were just hugging each other. And I said, get in the car. We took off and headed to Chattanooga. They actually took Shannon, myself, and my next door neighbor into the trauma room and let us be there while they were stabilizing Greer to prepare her for surgery. You could just see her little skull was just like laid open. They had to put pins and plates in there to fix the eye socket. They fixed uh, the cheekbone and they fixed her little forehead back and her little side of her eye head did there, her little temple. God really had his hand on that little girl. And he had the hands on the, the physicians that took care of her and put her back together. They took care of our child like it was theirs. We would walk down the halls and people would stop and say, how's Greer today? And I'm like, I don't even know who they are, or who that person is. The doctor came in one night and told my parents that she had broke his aphasia and that she might not speak for a few more months. But the next morning, she woke up my mom and told her that she needed to go to the bathroom. It's pretty amazing to live from such a horrible accident. You would never know that somebody like that could actually put their hands on someone and actually put them back together like a puzzle. At the end of 10 days, we brought her home. She walked out of the hospital walking, talking. We did take her to the various therapies, speech, occupational, physical. It became a long distance in a short amount of time. I have so many feelings for the people because like, you know, they helped me and they're gonna help other people when this new hospital is built. I'm just grateful. Grateful for Children's Hospital at Erlanger and the staff and the people who make it happen. My body resides in Georgia, but my heart resides in Chattanooga.